Hey everyone and welcome to the start of another weekend reading vlog. So obviously it goes without saying that this weekend is going to be much the same as last weekend but honestly though my reading game has been fire. It's April and I have read nine books so far this month. So it's safe, well almost nine books. I'm on my ninth one right now. I couldn't even tell you the last time I've read this much, so I'm really excited. I'm hoping I'm going to carry the momentum through this weekend and read a bunch. And because I've already read so much, I am pushing myself to pick up a long book this weekend as well. But let's quickly chat through the books I want to read. So first and foremost, I have my nook here because I've started a new Regency romance novel, Edenbrook by Julian Donaldson. I started it last night and I've already read 100 ebook pages of 232 ebook pages. Regency romance, man, gets me. I just fly through it. This one I'm really liking. It's definitely more soft, more romantic. It has a very idyllic setting, like countryside. It feels very romantic. Like it feels like a PBS lifetime show. It's not very steamy at least so far and definitely has more elements of like the banter and the dialogue is really entertaining and it, and it also feels very historically accurate obviously i can't say that with certainty but it feels that way um it's a story about a girl whose mother has passed away and she has a twin sister and they've been separated her father basically put them in two different places um, while he went abroad and the two sisters are very different one our main character is very content with being in the countryside. She just wants to paint. She just wants to kind of be surrounded by nature. She doesn't, she doesn't have very huge ambition. She's not really concerned about marrying rich and things like that versus her sister is much brighter light and does have ambitions to kind of move up in society and things like that. At the beginning of the story, her, our main character's twin sister invites her out to an estate because she is trying to basically make um, the eldest son in this wealthier family fall in love with her. It's not like an evil thing. That's like a normal thing I guess women did back then. I feel like phrasing it sounds a little weird in modern day settings. But anyway, she goes. She's in love with the property. She meets this man. It's so sweet and I love it so much so far. And I'm excited to probably finish it tonight, if not tomorrow morning flying through it. It's so sweet. And then from there, my main priority is to pick up The Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. This is a book I've been putting off now for months and I feel like I've read so much. I just need to pick this book up. It's not even that long. It's like just shy over 600 pages, 640 pages. And I feel like I'll fly through this. I also feel like this second one I've heard great things about. And I'm excited to get back into some longer high fantasy because it's been a moment since I've read it. So I'm hoping this is very immersive and entertaining. So this is definitely my number one priority for the weekend. Maybe I can get like halfway through or something. That would be really great. And then obviously finish Edenbrook first. Also on my mind is the second book to the Dresden Files. I was really entertained by the first one and I flew through it. So I really feel like I'll be reading a lot of those over the next coming weeks, but I'm really gonna push myself to pick up Robin Hobb's book over that uh, because I really wanna get this knocked off the old TBR. But yeah, so those are my reading plans. Matilda's being cute per usual. And look, I found a bookmark, which is really exciting. Look, I'm just surrounded by books. I've completed. They're just everywhere. And I'm so proud of myself. Um, but I am going to make a latte, I think, a weekend latte. And Clay went out to run a quick errand. And then I'm going to put Top Chef on and we're going to hang out. I think we're going to order a pizza. I'm going to take the night off cooking. And I'm really looking forward to it. Isn't that right? <laughs> she is resting on her bone. How is that comfortable? Making some lattes and we have Top Chef on. We're just gonna hang out up until we have game night tonight like we do every Friday. Pizza has arrived. It's time to get down to business. I'm so excited. Why are you like this? Dinner is consumed, so now it's time for the main event. Naruto. Believe it. We are on, we're on the final like chunk final arc we're like in the pre-arc to the final arc before we're gonna watch the Putin. we've flown through this um i think we have like 30 or 40 episodes left um so time to marathon sleeping beauty's over here she stole my spot and he just decided to take a nap instead of watching our tale. basically i'm just betrayed by everyone i love 
Mm-hmm. Matilda. Mm-hmm. Game night. Matilda is a little cinnamon bun. <laughs> so game night is over. I always love game night. It's such a highlight of the week. It's so fun to connect with everyone, play goofy games, and just laugh and stay up late. Clay is playing Call of Duty with his brother out in the living room, like virtually. <laughs> his brother lives in Texas. But I am retreating into the bedroom to read Edenbrook. I'm going to try to finish this tonight. I think it could be possible. It is pretty late. It's past midnight and I don't want to stay up too late because I don't want to sleep in too much tomorrow. That being said, we'll see what happens. I feel like Regency Romance has a way of sucking me in and not letting me go until I read the whole thing. So we'll just see how far I get in this tonight. Um, but I do plan to finish it at least, if not tonight, then tomorrow morning right away. So I'm going to jump in now and I'll keep you guys up to speed with my reading progress. Hi, I can confirm it's very late and I have been reading a lot and my nook is about to die, but I love this book. It's so wholesome and it's just like the story of this girl, Marianne, who like gives everything to everyone else, like her sister, her father, like doesn't choose herself first and cannot see that this man is in love with her and his, her sister wants to marry him. And so she's just like letting it happen. Obviously he's making his own decisions and like, I don't think he wants to marry her sister, but like she's just blind to the world around her and you just want to like shake her. And I can't put this book down. It's so entertaining. Guys, my plan for going to bed early has failed entirely. I've almost read this entire book. Well, the remainder of this book tonight, I'm going to finish it. My heart is so full. It is so sweet. It is so classic of a romance. It's like sweet. I'm dying from the sweetness. Oh, it's just so romantic. I finished the dang book. I did it again. I read instead of slept. I am predictable. <laughs> Good morning world. I am finally awake. I've been taking it slow this morning because as you saw last night, I stayed up till past 2 a.m. reading my book. Who's shocked? Not me. Thought I wasn't gonna do it. Told myself I wasn't gonna do it. Did it anyway. But this morning I've just been taking it slow and I'm about to sit down and take some Skillshare classes. As you guys know, I am a Skillshare partner and I have been loving them even more recently if that was possible. If you're not familiar, Skillshare is an online resource that has thousands upon thousands of classes covering so many different topics. For me, I am a huge lover of their lifestyle-based topics. I've taken classes on plants, I've taken classes on coffee, and recently I have been deep into the baking classes because I am trying to just learn more. Baking has been a really fun thing I have been trying to do more recently. I've been making so many muffins, as you guys know. I am about to get my hands on some yeast, so this morning I wanted to rewatch some of my old favorite dough videos and also watch some new ones um, to try to get better acquainted with dough dough as well as some pasta because those are definitely the two things I haven't made yet that I really want to and I also got my hands on some flour so I finally have like the materials in-house to begin to do that so I'm gonna walk you through those classes but again Skillshare is awesome because it's not just cooking it could be productivity it could be web design it can be freelance it can be art and art classes there's really so many different things to check out and learn which I think is really great and it's something you can pace yourself and there's a bunch of different teachers and it's really awesome because you can do it right from your home but to quickly show you my classes, I have them all open on my tabs. The first one I was actually gonna do this morning is a rewatch for me. I watched this a while ago and I really, really liked it. It's the easy and versatile baking, the one yeast dough you need to know. Uh, I really liked this teacher and I have it open here. And I just really like how she kind of walked through this. So I'm gonna rewatch it. She makes cinnamon rolls with it in this video, but I think the whole point is that you can use this dough for a lot of different things, which really intrigues me as I venture into the dough making space. The other classes I have that I'm really excited about are Make Fresh Pasta. And this is from Italy, which is a really cool, like New York Italian store and restaurant. And I also have another dough class, Know Your Dough, Baking Tools, Tips, and Techniques. So I have these three classes I'm really excited to take. I think I'm going to restart by re-watching the one yeast dough you need to know, um, but also the pasta class really intrigues me. So those are the classes I am going to be starting or re-watching or starting for the first time this morning. Per usual, I do have a coupon code which I'll have down below, which is essentially two months free of premium Skillshare for the first 1,000 people that click the link. So definitely check it out if you're interested in taking some classes and learning more about dough with me. 
or other things like productivity, art. But I'm personally focused on the baking. But anyway, I'm gonna take my classes now. I'm gonna make some coffee and I will check in and review my book in a minute, but I gotta take my classes first. I could cry, I'm so excited. Bagels are in this bag, guys. I haven't had a New York City bagel in almost five weeks and bagels are probably top food. One top five favorite food, so good. And then we also made a pot of coffee, so we're about to have a breakfast, watch some Naruto, and relax. Also, here is a quick OOTD. I put on a skirt. It's actually really beautiful outside. It's still a little cold, so I put a sweater on. I actually really like this outfit. Everything's pretty old. I've had this skirt for a couple years now for me and other stories. It's one of my favorites, and then this is old Cezanne. So, happy Saturday. Here she is in all of her glory and Clay got a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. I could cry, I'm so excited. We have been watching a lot of Naruto, but we're now gonna go out for a walk with this one. It's such a beautiful day outside. I don't know if it's too hot for a sweater. Spring can be really confusing <laughs> on like what to wear, but I'm wearing a skirt, so I don't wanna be cold. I'm not gonna wear a jacket. I guess we'll see. Back from our two mile walk and I'm making smoothies. Honestly, today is magical outside. It's just one of those days where the weather is perfect, the temperature is perfect. Millie had a wonderful time, isn't that right, Matilda? Real trooper, over two miles his little girl walked. Hi, pals. So we've just been lounging post-walk. Here is Matilda. She is absolutely pooped. Um, I realized I never checked in and actually reviewed, well, I did review, but kind of wrap up my thoughts on Edenbrook because I did obviously stay up really late last night and read the last, I think it was like 140 or 160 pages of that. Um, it was so charming. I really liked it. I think I'd give it like a four out of five stars. I thought it was a really nice, soft, pretty, sweet romance. Um, from there, obviously my plans are to read The Royal Assassin, which I do plan on picking up today at some point. Uh, Clay and I have just been lounging. I actually think we're about to go up on our apartment roof and enjoy this weather a bit more. It is really nice. It's going to be really crappy tomorrow, but overall the plans for this evening are go on the roof, drink a latte up there, uh, make some steak fajitas, watch some reality TV. I think we're going to start the James Bond franchise. Isn't that right, Clay? That or up in the air? Either or. Either or working. Yeah. Well, we'll probably watch both this weekend at some point. Mm -hmm. If we don't watch one today, watch one tomorrow. Hopefully convince Clay to watch more Naruto. <laughs> and then just chill. And then obviously in between all that, I do plan on reading. Tomorrow's going to be super rainy, so it's going to be perfect reading weather. But I'm really jazzed because I was able to read a good, a lot of Edinburgh last night. I'm gonna, I think I looked it up, 164 pages I actually think is the exact amount I read. So that to me is a good start. So if I don't read a lot today and maybe just read like 40 or 80 pages, then I'll be really in a good place for tomorrow to read a bunch more on Sunday. But just wanted to check in. I'm gonna make lattes now and then we're gonna head up to the roof and sit and do more sitting. Latte in the making everyone, yummy. All right, watching our Bravo shows, and now I'm making dinner. I've just been marinating this steak and bringing it to room temperature for the fajitas, but now I'm gonna cook the onions and just get everything all situated. I'll make a salad, because I got some, oh. I won the like Amazon lottery because I was able to get a grocery delivery today. You kind of just have to check every day at random times and you might get a slot day of. It's pretty wild and kind of like um, the Hunger Games out there, but. I was able to get some and I got all a bunch of fresh fruit and some more vegetables and lettuce, which we've been out of. So I'm gonna make a salad, which I'm so excited about. Very little Matilda better than cooked sauteed onions. Uh, so good. And then basically I'm gonna be making breakfast bur burritos tomorrow. So I'm gonna keep a lot of these onions and then have them for tomorrow morning. And then I have like extra steak that I set aside as well because Clay and I love a breakfast taco, a regular taco, a breakfast burrito, a regular burrito. It's just it's just who we are. And then obviously we got the refried beets. Nothing pairs better with tacos than a Caesar salad. Am I right, Matilda? <laughs> Honestly, all I've been eating. If I'm gonna eat a salad right now, it's gonna be a delicious ranch or Caesar salad. There aren't no vinaigrettes happening in this household. <laughs> Steak is done and rested and look. 
she finally got a medium rare and I ate half the salad while I was waiting for it to rest because call it an appetizer. But yeah, I decided to cut it in little squares. A little easier to eat in the taco. But now I've just been picking at them, eating them. But luckily everything is now done. And they're done. Time to watch James Bond Casino Royale. All right, we finished. You can hear the music. We finished James Bond Casino Royale. I really liked it. That was my first watch through. Daniel Craig can completely see why he was cast as James Bond. What did you think, Clay? You've seen this movie before. What was your what was your viewpoint second time watch? It's a really good movie. The action shots are all done really well. Daniel Craig's really cool. The female uh, lead, Eva Green, she does a great job. I like the movie a lot. I haven't seen it in like 15 years. Oh. Or about that. Anyway, Clay's going to play some Call of Duty now, so I am going to finally start The Royal Assassin by Robin Hobbs. So I'm gonna go venture and get started on this guy because it's, it's about time that I started to read. Pose with reading this evening. It was kind of a better late than never kind of scenario given that I have not read yet at all today, but now is the perfect time. James Bond and Naruto. No more. Time to start the Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. All right, so I've read a quick 20 pages of this book. It honestly takes place exactly at the end of the last one, and it actually does a really great job recapping the last one, which I greatly appreciate. I definitely remember the big things, but there were some small things sprinkled in there that were obviously relevant and important and was a good refresher. Um, I'm excited about this because this is really a story focusing very much on one particular character. In the first one, it was a lot about his childhood, growing up and beginning trained as an assassin. And this one is taking place after some big events of the first one. And he's obviously already trained. He has a lot more to learn and a lot more to experience. But we're kind of already in this sort of political game. It's not like a child kind of navigating a court system. It's a young boy or a young man, I should say, who's trained as an assassin versed in politics and is having to make some difficult decisions so and i also feel like he's going to be doing some traveling in this i could be wrong but that's just kind of my impression that i got from the 20 pages i just read um so we shall see but i just wanted to say i am really liking it so far obviously i haven't read enough to give any definitive opinions yet but it was a nice recap and good introduction to the story and i also just like love the classical fantasy feel and Assassins are cool, so what can, more can I say? All right, I have passed the 50 page mark of this book. Um, this is definitely slow going, not because it's slow, it's more than I'm tired and it's late and the font is really small and I feel like I have to read very carefully and it's just taking me a bit longer than I would have, uh, than it would normally. But I'm liking it, 50 pages in, I'm excited. I think I'm gonna go to bed. I'm a little sleepy, but I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and read more in the morning. I have no grand plans for tomorrow aside from making blueberry muffins, so I intend to get a lot of this read. Uh, the first 50 pages have really intrigued me. I'm excited to see how the plots and the politics continue to expand. But yeah, only one way to find out. Good morning world. I'm just listening back to this video I'm posting back today and sitting with Matilda. It is a cold, gloomy day outside. Hey, I'm gonna make a pot of coffee and I'm gonna make blueberry muffins this morning, but first and foremost, I am listening back to this. All right, my video is done and it's now time to do my blueberry coffee cake dreams. I was gonna make muffins, but I decided to try making a coffee cake. A new thing over here. All right, step one to this whole madness is make a strudel. So I'm now gonna put in the fridge. It's just like sugar, flour, butter, cinnamon. I'm trying to remember to use cinnamon, Reagan, and not nutmeg, which you keep doing, which is really bad because too much nutmeg is very bad for you. But anyway, I finally used cinnamon today. All right, I'm creaming together the butter and the sugar until it gets fluffy, which it still needs some more time, I think. So I'm gonna let it keep going. Anytime I make a batter, that looks like a batter. I get so proud of myself, especially after that one time I curdled the batter. But like, this is so fluffy and thick. Wow. I even Googled what cream, sugar, and butter looked like, and it looked like it. 
Ah, whoa, so proud. Time to put the blueberries in. I'm doing a mixture of frozen and fresh, just based on what I have. And then I'm gonna pop this bad boy in the oven. And here she is. She looks so pretty. I'm really hopeful this is gonna be good. Even the batter tastes good, which, you know, it's not always the case with me. I'm getting better and better with baking. Shout out to all the baking videos I watch because you're really helping this girl out. Video is uploading. Coffee cake is in the oven, so it can only mean one thing. And that is Naruto is about to be watched. Also, I read to page 55 last night of the Asa Royal Assassin. I'm talking to my mom, but look at these two. Literally just- Do you need just... to go, honey? No, no, mom, I'm just vlogging. Oh. Look at her. She's got a crumble. I did the knife test. She's cooked all the way through. I am jazzed about this. I have to let it cool for like 20 minutes before we can eat it, but I am really excited about this. I have high hopes. Oh, yes. Also, look at her. Look at all those bloobs. She's full of the bloobs. Okay, moving on from my cake and I'm now making breakfast burritos which I've made I feel like a thousand times on my channel at this point but I'm gonna make potatoes eggs beans I have some steak from yesterday I'm going to cook up and it's gonna be super good and everything is ready to construct the perfect breakfast steak burrito burritos are constructed I'm really proud of my burrito wrapping skills which I've acquired since this whole thing has begun started a very classic retrieval arc, I won't say who, but I'm gonna take a short reading break and enjoy the rest of this afternoon in this rainy weather and then get right back to the Naruto. Matilda's being extra pathetic right now. Show them how you swim, Millie. Very good, very impressive. I'm gonna try to read another 50 to 60 pages right now and then that'll be making solid progress and then I'll obviously read more throughout the night. Pause and reading because this girl's gonna get her bath. We've been putting it off, but she's got, she needs a bath. She sported me right in the face with her sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, how she feels about the bath. You ready to go, Millie? Are you walking yourself? You ready to go? <laughs> that dumb face. Freshly bathed and not thrilled about it. Well, now she's just going crazy and getting all of her stuff wet. Her So I went into the bedroom really fast because Clay's playing Call of Duty and I wanted to give you a reading check-in. Oh, Matilda has decided to join me. Hi, Millie. Um, but, oh, uh, but I've passed the 150 page mark of this book and I have to say I'm really liking it. I would definitely say the second one, which I'm not surprised to say and I was hoping this would be the case, is moving much faster and I'm much more intrigued by the plot immediately compared to the first one. Um, I think I mentioned it happens in the events directly after the first book. Fitz is obviously older. He's already had quite a bit of training. He still has a lot to learn and a lot of places to grow, but he's already kind of like ingrained in the politics of the kingdom and in court life. And those roles and his role is dynamic and expanding, but inherently it's just more interesting because he's already kind of established to a degree. That combined with the fact that he's older, there's some girl drama, which I really like, it's, it's complicated too. And not to mention the aftermath of the first one is deeply impacting him in really interesting ways. I don't really want to speak exactly what it is because that's spoilers, but it's really making Fitz go through a personal and mental journey that I think is really intriguing and important to his overall character growth. So that being said, I'm really liking this book. I love a good, like, I don't know, like he's in a dark place and I'm hopeful that he's gonna pull himself by his bootstraps and kind of work through it. And I'm really excited to like cheer him on <laughs> while I'm reading this book. I don't know how else to describe it, but that's how I feel. Um, so I'm liking it a lot, 150 pages read. Definitely plan to read more tonight. 
for sure. I've obviously read over 300 pages for this weekend, which I'm really pleased with because there's much of this night left. And reading 200 more pages of this book I think should be pretty simple. I plan to read more right now anyway, so I plan to read hopefully another 75 pages before I stop and watch more Naruto. Speaking of another emo boy, we got Sasuke to contend with, so just really taking it easy this Sunday. That um, blueberry cake crumble thing I made, so good. I'm going to try to remember to actually have the recipe linked. I'll have it down below if I don't. Someone yell at me because I'm terrible at remembering to do that. But it was really good, really easy. I'm gonna make that again. <laughs> Tasty. That and the chocolate chip banana muffins, the two best things I've baked so far uh, during all of this. And I feel like I've gotten better and better. Each weekend, my creations taste better. First couple of muffins were like medium, but these past two things, very good. But anyway, I'm gonna get back to reading, but I'm really pleased to say that I'm liking this a lot. And I really do, like, there's a line on the front that says, Hob is a remarkable storyteller, and that is true. I really feel like there's this, I feel so enveloped and transported by her words, and I also just feel like she's able to create such captivating characters that feel very real in the setting and the time. So, anyway, I'm liking it a lot, so I'm gonna get back to reading. 75 more pages read. I'm in the 200s, people. And also, I got ahead of editing, which is like, never happens. <laughs> never ahead. So I would say, all in all, a good Naruto break. Now it's time to eat more of my blueberry coffee cake and watch more Naruto and maybe have a late night coffee. Watching Naruto, but I am going to start dinner. Tonight it is burgers and zucchini fries. Should be very, very tasty. All right, patties are formed. I made some balsamic caramelized onions. I got some garlic aioli. Um, zucchini fries are in the oven. Hello. And I'm about to make the burgers now, but everything should be done in about 10 minutes. Quick, easy, and super delicious. These burgers be popping, and everything else is almost done. Cannot wait to chow down. And the burgers are done. Pretty hyped for these zucchini fries too. I love zucchini. Ignore the Naruto in the background, but it's ice cream time. Hi world, Clay and I have played, or not played, watched so much Naruto, but I have ventured back to do more reading because this is a reading vlog and I'm really liking my book, so I do wanna get a good, more read tonight. I'm on page like 2.30ish right now, so I'm definitely making decent progress. I'm gonna sit down and read another, hopefully 100 or so pages, watch a few more episodes of Naruto before bed and then uh, get a full night's sleep. I actually have tomorrow off. Uh, I took a vacation day, which I don't think I'm gonna vlog. I literally think I'm gonna take it all, take it off from like social media, everything. So um, I can stay up a little bit late tonight is what I'm trying to say, so I can get a little bit of extra reading in as well. So I am gonna get to it right now, and I will let you know as I uh, make more progress through this book. And another. 115 pages have been consumed. Things are really happening. I will chat more about this probably in the morning because we're gonna watch some more Naruto, but I'm really liking the evolution of this book. It's so complicated because I really feel like it has a more realistic relationship scenario between who would be a bastard son and his royal obligations to the king and heir. I feel like often, even if two people are close in that scenario, there's an element of duty that cannot be forgotten. And often I feel like that can be brushed over in a lot of fantasy settings, but I feel like here it is especially explored in really interesting ways. And I feel like that's a huge part of Fitz's character and I like it a lot. But now it's time for Naruto. Hey everyone, it's Reagan, and I'm just popping in to quickly end the vlog the next day per usual. Just wanted to wrap everything up I was able to read this weekend. So I was able to read just under 500 pages, which I'd say I'm really pleased with, especially given I started a new very long fantasy novel. So definitely made very good progress. But first and foremost, this weekend I finished the ebook of Edenbrook, which is a very soft and sweet Regency romance. I really liked it. And if you're looking for something that's a little less steamy and more true to the time period, I would really recommend it. And then from there, I obviously picked up The Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. I got to page 336 last night. And I'm really liking this book. I think I've already kind of talked to how it started out a lot faster. We already have a place in time. We already kind of understand the magic. Fitz is older. There's elements of romance which are really intriguing and on top of that there's a new 
queen in town and I love her so much and I love every time she pops up in the story. I just feel like I've, I'm reading this with a lot more intensity than I did the first one. More so I just don't really want to put it down which is a really nice sentiment especially with a longer book. This book is much longer than the first one but it really gives me hope that this series is going to progress in the way that I was wanting it to, get a little more in depth, get a little more addicting, the politics get a little bigger, and I really feel like that's happening. Not to mention I've only heard exceptional things about her other series set in this world as well, so I'm just really excited that I'm liking this and that I'm progressing through it so quickly, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish this before the end of the month, and if not, I'll just carry it over into, oh my gosh, May. Is it almost May? Yeah. Wow. Anywho, I just wanted to pop in and this vlog, shout out the books I read, and yeah, I've read a lot this month, so I'm really excited about that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you soon with another video soon.